we're gonna go into arguably the best discus technique ever in the history of the sport, and we're gonna start right now. All right, so think of the discus greats out there. We've got Robert Harding, Virgilius Selechna, Wolfgang Schmidt, Sandra Perkovich, all these people who have phenomenal technique. They rotate really, really well, and there's a couple different movement patterns that we might see. You know, what do we see out of the back as the individual opens up and as they push off their dominant leg? Do we see a long sweep leg or maybe a little bit more bent similar to stall? Then as they come off of that left leg, you know, as they come off of that non-dominant side, what happens when the right cuts in? When the right grounds, do they hold that middle position with the left arm? Or do they have like a little bit of a tuck, like a Lechno, or not hold it at all, like Stahl? Or even Perkovich, where she almost like throws that left arm up high. What happens during these positions can be different from athlete to athlete, and it makes it a little bit more challenging to mimic that technique and to actually emulate that over a long period of time. And I think that that's even something that you'll see at the finish. You know, what, what's going on when they get that left leg down? How's the right side rotating? Do they jump out of the finish? Do they transfer forward? How grounded are they? And is this a position that athletes can watch and actually use. And so what we've done over the past, we've done technical analysis of all these great discus throwers. We've watched thousands of hours of discus throws. What's the consistent position or what are the consistent positions for all these different throwers? And then comparing that as a coach, what I like to do is say, all right, what has the best result? And then also what is easily attainable for high school kids to build upon. And I think that that's one thing we've got to understand is that technique and technical domination take years to develop. And so if we can take a model and implement that at an early age and then see it through over the span of five to 10 years, we're probably gonna be dealing with arguably the best technique possible, right? And so I think that that's something that we can bring up in the world of throwing is that these things have to be attainable for normal people to develop at an early age or at least be able to work towards at an early age. And that's gonna take us right into this throw, which I believe this throw, along with many other throws from Valerie Allman, are the best throws, the best technical throws in the history of the sport. I believe that she has the best technique in the discus ever. So let's watch it and let's see what happens. Okay, let's watch that again. One more full speed and then we'll watch it in slow-mo. Boom. Okay, now let's watch that in slow motion. And actually, so one thing I wanted to bring up is that last year, Val, uh, when she won the Olympics, I think technique was on point throwing, what, 69 in the stadium, 70 meters in the stadium. She threw 70 plus at, at Eugene at the Olympic trials. She threw 70, I think it was like 70, 60 later on in the year. Last year, another throw in the stadium, which I think is probably her best technical throw. I think this throw maybe uh, relative to her other movements, she falls in a little bit out of the back, but I still think this is probably a top four throw technique-wise of all time. And let's just go over those positions that every high school athlete, even, even college athletes, could watch this and be able to achieve. She's got a nice level wind there with that right arm. Her right foot is flat. We've got to take note of that right foot being flat and sort of just pointing right here, okay? Some athletes will have that left arm out. She, she sort of collects that across. And so as she unwinds, what's the first thing that starts to go is her upper body. She leads with that left arm. Left arm gets outside of that left hip uh, just a bit. The discus stays back behind her right hip here. This is her pickup point, okay? So she's opening here as she goes to pick up. She's got that right quad flexed and she's pushing that right quad wide. This is where I do think in the past her right, her left hip uh, gets out a little bit wider. She gets that chest over that left a little bit more. But what we end up seeing here is this position, okay? So right here's her, her left hip. That's gonna tell us where her right's gonna ground, right? Her right leg gets nice and wide. Look at that. Right here you can really see long right leg. Okay, so long right leg. 
dorsiflex right foot. So we wanna see that right toe up. We've got a flexed left heel, flexed left knee. And what that, that left hip determines is where we're gonna be grounding, okay? So we wanna think about that. And then as we point out, the discus is staying behind the right hip here. The big thing that I also think is watching this left arm, okay? So let's go back right to about here. That left arm, keep an eye on that. It opens and then it collects across, okay? So that right foot right here comes together to here, meeting with that left arm. And you can sort of see how that left arm here flexes a little bit. She's got a real nice position with the discus here and she's over top of that right foot, okay? Left foot now, she does a good job keeping that left foot below the left knee. So with high schoolers, what we can think about to coach this, it would be be level, be balanced. Just be balanced and level out of the back. Start with that left arm under control, patient with that left arm. Push that right leg wide. You know, we know she's pushing wide because her quad flexes, okay? So when she's flexing the quad, that means she's starting to bend that right knee to push forward and you can see that right here. That's still flex and then she sweeps. So she goes from quad push to adductor sweeping, comes down, staying over top, left leg comes forward and then she catches that discus really, really deep here when that left foot grounds. Left arm's here, discus is deep. And then what she do with that right? She stays bent with that right knee. Look at that right knee. And these are the key points here. Left foot's flat, right knee's bent, okay? Left foot's flat, right knee's bent. And she comes around really, really well here. She's up a little early off that left, or off of that right, sorry. She's up a little early off that right, but she's rotating so well, she's still on that left side. She's still on that left foot, and she rotates forward, gets forward into this extremely well on the finish. And I think that, if we want to look at this, th there's a lot of things that are repeatable for high school kids here. It's that position, that balanced position out of the back. It's when that right ground's being balanced through the foot. So the torso, the quad, the, the foot, they're all in a line and that enables that left to rotate around the right. And it's the same thing here, that left hip. Look at how that left knee, when she grounds, her left knee, you can see is facing the sector. That's the balance point, sorry. That's the balance point right there on the finish is now the right side's coming around that left. The left is that balance point and that enables her to have a good strong finish which helps her work everything forward. So I think everybody out there in the throwing world could benefit from this positioning. Everybody out in the throwing world could watch this and make it repeatable. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's possible to do this over years. And it's the exact same thing. It's almost identical principle-wise to what Ryan Krauser is doing in the shot put. And this is where throwing is continuing to move. It's a wide position where you get around the left, you're sweeping down. There's not crazy jumping all over the place out of the back. There's not jumping on the finish. Everything's rotating, going forward. And I believe Val has the best technique and the discus of all time. So if you need help, you need a technical analysis, or you need a throws program, click on the link down below in the description. Head over to throwsuniversity.com. Until next time, guys, peace.